Hello everyone, welcome back to Odoo 14 development videos. We were discussing about uh, the model constraints. Model constraints means verify other invariants. So, uh, system will automatically verify the invariants um, if you set these constraints in your model like uh, you can't set unique name for the records and you cannot keep it uh, as a null value and uh, there are many constraints that you can give so how we can uh, set these constraints that what we are we were discussing uh, from the last video so in last video we were discussing how we can do this using a python constraint using the uh, other uh, API dot constraints uh, decorator. In this video, we are discussing about how we can do the same using SQL constraints. So SQL constraints is uh, defined using uh, a model attribute like uh, uh, we see like uh, underscore inheritance underscore name uh, kind of uh, attributes so here for the const setting constraint we use underscore sql underscore constraints so the last case uh, we added the this one i believe okay So this is the uh, Python constraints we added. Now uh, here this API dot constraints is without a T. Here we are missing a T. And uh, in case of SQL constraints, we have the uh, T here. So this is the model attribute we are using to define a SQL constraints. So uh, this SQL constraints uh, structure includes three uh, three strings requires three strings so one is a uh, name of the constraint and uh, the next thing is uh, the second one is SQL uh, definition SQL definition then uh, what will be the message if it's not meeting this uh, this constraint is uh, this uh, condition is true what will happen so uh, these are the uh, Sorry, if this constraint is not meeting, uh, then uh, this will be the message. So these three uh, components are the uh, uh, required thing when you define a SQL constraints. So what we what we are doing is we are uh, adding two SQL constraints into our Open Academy course object. So one is as you can see in the name uh, in the code. So one is called name description check. So this is the name of the constraint and then uh, the system will check the next part, check name not equal to description. So uh, once we set this uh, SQL constraint to this uh, model, we cannot have the same content, exact same content for the name and the description. So when you have the same content for uh, name and description, the system will throw this message. The title of the course should not be the description and uh, same way we have another one name unique so you can't have the same name for two courses so the name should be unique for the entire uh, table of the uh, course so these are the two constraints that we are adding so uh, please keep in mind that uh, when you have the S uh, when you uh, use the SQL constraints, you are using this uh, model attribute S underscore SQL underscore constraints with the T. And when you uh, go for a Python constraints, you use the API dot constraints. Here you don't have the T. So uh, this is the uh, difference. Then uh, now. Now we have these two uh, SQL constraints added to our module Open Academy course object. 
now let's try to uh, restart the service and open this yeah Okay, so let's go to apps. Open Academy. Upgrade. And let's uh, switch it to the super user mode. As you know, uh, we are switching to use uh, super user mode since we haven't added uh, security for the models. So uh, without the user super user uh, access, we can't we can't look into that area. So uh, that's why we are moving to the super user mode. And then uh, let's go back to the sorry, uh, go to our Open Academy. So here, uh, this is the model that we set the constraints open academy courses so here you uh, you can see three courses we have course zero one two then on the first one was you uh, we have to uh, give separate content separate content for the title and description so we cannot have the same for uh, title and description of a course so uh, Let's try giving course zero as a description of this one. Okay, there are some blank spaces here. Now you see the title of the course should be should not be description. So we can't have the same. So this one is the uh, first validation first SQL constraint that we set and the next one is you cannot have the same name for uh, same title for uh, multiple courses so let's try that one don't don't be confused with this course 0 and course 0 because uh, we have some extra uh, spaces here that's why it's coming it is accepted so uh, let's try creating another one or we can also duplicate this one so see uh, when we click on the duplicate system will uh, automatically try to create another one with the same data so at the same other uh, time the course title must be unique so this is the uh, uh, second one that we uh, added uh, as a skill constraint uh, we can also try with the uh, only with this course zero let's try creating course zero say you see uh, so we added uh, our sql constraints successfully so i hope you understand uh, how we can add the sql constraint so the basic thing is we are using this uh, attribute model attribute s underscore sql constraint and it's a list uh, you can uh, add multiple constraint uh, to this at the same time you don't have to uh, add uh, uh, a second attribute and also uh, this has three, three parts sql constraint have three parts so one is the name and the next thing uh, at, the, at the middle you have to give the condition and then the message so this is the three uh, parts of uh, SQL constraint. I hope you understand uh, the video and uh, what the things that we have discussed. If you have any doubts, please put your comments on the session. Uh, put your uh, doubts under the comment session. Uh, we will try to answer your queries. Thanks for watching.